Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. In today's fast-paced world, brimming with distractions and temptations, staying true to our faith and Allah's teachings requires a steadfast discipline. Imagine a life where you consistently make choices that align with what's best for you, eating healthily, caring for your body, and engaging in prayer as Allah has guided us. Today, I'm excited to share with you five invaluable Islamic lessons that can help you cultivate this discipline, transforming your life into one of purpose and devotion. Stay with me and let's embark on this journey of self-improvement together. Lesson one, embracing a morning routine inspired by Islam. Let's start with the power of a morning routine, but this isn't just about ticking tasks off a list. It's about enriching your soul and setting the tone for a day filled with discipline, mindfulness, and productivity. These practices, deeply rooted in Islamic teachings and exemplified by our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, are more than mere rituals. They are the keys to a fulfilling day. Your day should begin with the Fajr prayer, the first of our five daily prayers. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, highlighted its significance, saying in Sahih Muslim that the two Sunnah cycles of prayer before Fajr are more valuable than the entire world. Imagine starting your day with an act more precious than all the world's treasures. Waking up for Fajr instills a sense of peace and purpose right from the day's start. After Fajr, take a moment to sit in contemplation, remember Allah, and recite the Quran. The Prophet mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, the early morning has been blessed for my Ummah. This time is a golden opportunity for reflection and connecting with Allah, setting a positive and spiritually nourished tone for the rest of your day. Remember, personal grooming and cleanliness are also integral in the morning. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in Sahih Muslim, cleanliness is half of faith. So, as you perform ablution, wudu, for fajr, brush your teeth and tidy up, remember that these acts of cleanliness are part of your faith and a testament to your devotion. Lesson 2. Cultivating Willpower in Accordance with Islamic Teachings Next, let's talk about willpower, a quality highly esteemed in Islamic teachings. It's more than just being strong-willed. In Islam, willpower is a spiritual tool that connects you to Allah and helps you navigate life's challenges. The Quran says in 65.4, To you and for those who fear Allah, He will make their path easy. This verse suggests that while the journey toward righteousness may have its obstacles, if you have strong willpower and are conscious of Allah, He will assist you along the way. Taqwa, or God consciousness, is about making choices that please Allah, even when they are difficult. This is where your willpower is truly tested and proves its worth. Reflect on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his exemplary display of willpower. He faced immense challenges, such as the boycott by his tribe and hostility in Taif, but his unwavering faith in Allah gave him resilience. His life exemplifies how faith-fueled willpower can carry you through the hardest of times. Consider the hadith in Sahih Bukhari about controlling anger. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The strong among you is not the one who overcomes the people by his strength, but the strong is the one who controls himself while in anger. This teaches you that real strength lies in self-control, an essential aspect of willpower. Then there's jihad and nafs, the struggle against your lower desires. It's about striving to live righteously, battling against your inclination. This greater jihad requires continuous effort and a strong will to stay on the righteous path. It's more than just being strong-willed. In Islam, willpower is a spiritual tool that connects you to Allah and helps you navigate life's challenges. The Quran says in 65.4, To you and for those who fear Allah, He will make their path easy. 
This verse suggests that while the journey toward righteousness may have its obstacles, if you have strong willpower and are conscious of Allah, He will assist you along the way. Taqwa, or God consciousness, is about making choices that please Allah, even when they are difficult. This is where your willpower is truly tested and proves its worth. Reflect on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his exemplary display of willpower. He faced immense challenges, such as the boycott by his tribe and hostility in Taif, but his unwavering faith in Allah gave him resilience. His life exemplifies how faith-fueled willpower can carry you through the hardest of times. Consider the hadith in Sahih Bukhari about controlling anger. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The strong among you is not the one who overcomes the people by his strength, but the strong is the one who controls himself while in anger. This teaches you that real strength lies in self-control, an essential aspect of willpower. Then there's jihad and nafs, the struggle against your lower desires. It's about striving to live righteously, battling against your inclination. This greater jihad requires continuous effort and a strong will to stay on the righteous path. Lesson 3. Mastering the Art of Time Management Imagine time as a precious gift from Allah, a treasure that once lost can never be regained. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, once said, as recorded in Sahih Bukhari, two blessings which many people waste, health and free time. This profound statement reminds us of the value of time and the importance of using it wisely. The Prophet himself was a master of time management, balancing his roles as a prophet, leader, and family man with exceptional grace and efficiency. He showed us the importance of dedicating specific times for prayers, family, teaching, and personal reflection. In the Quran, Allah swears by time in Surah Al-Asr. By time, indeed, mankind is in loss. Quran 103, 1-2, emphasizing its significance. This surah is not just a verse, it's a divine oath highlighting the importance of time and how we should use it. It teaches us that true success lies in belief, good deeds, truthfulness and patience. Islamic prayer times spread throughout the day are not just spiritual checkpoints. They're reminders to organize our daily activities, instilling discipline and time management. Consider the holy month of Ramadan, a perfect example of discipline and time management. Fasting from dawn to dusk, managing suhoor, iftar, and additional prayers like tarawih, teaches us about scheduling self-control and effective use of time. The Prophet also warned against procrastination in Sunan ibn Majah, advising prompt action in matters like prayer, funerals, and marriage. Remember, effective time management in Islam is about contributing to the community, engaging in charitable activities, seeking knowledge, and fulfilling family duties. The Prophet said in Sahih Bukhari, The best among you are those who bring the greatest benefits to many others encouraging us to use our time for the benefit of ourselves and others. Lesson 4. The Power of Self-Control Self-control is a vital component of our spiritual journey, aligning our desires, emotions and actions with what is morally and ethically right in Islam. The Quran offers profound insights on self-control, advising in Quran 42.37, and those who avoid the major sins and immoralities, and when they are angry, they forgive. This verse is not just about avoiding sins, it's about demonstrating self-control, especially in challenging times like anger, inviting us to rise above immediate emotional responses and choose understanding and forgiveness. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the importance of controlling anger in a hadith in Sahih Bukhari. When a man sought advice, the Prophet simply said, do not become angry, repeating it several times. This advice, though simple, is profound, teaching us that true strength lies in self-control. 
guarding our gaze and speech, as instructed in Quran 24.30, is about managing our internal desires and thoughts. Self-control also extends to our lifestyle, including spending and eating. The Prophet advised in Quran 7.31, eat and drink, but be not excessive. This teaches us to practice self-control in all aspects of life, avoiding excess. In dealing with forgiveness and provocation, self-control is again crucial. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said in Sahih Muslim, The strong person is not the one who overpowers others. The strong person is the one who controls himself when he is angry. This hadith reminds us that true strength lies in maintaining self-control in difficult situations. Islamic teachings extend to controlling not just our actions, but also our thoughts and intentions. The Prophet said in Sahih Muslim, Indeed, Allah does not look at your appearance or wealth, but rather He looks at your hearts and actions, underscoring the importance of internal self-control. Lesson 5. Embracing Prayer and Meditation for a Fulfilling Life Let's dive into the fifth and deeply enriching lesson, the power of prayer and meditation in Islam. These aren't just acts of worship, they're direct conversations with Allah, pathways to spiritual growth, inner peace, and a disciplined life. The Quran teaches us, indeed prayer prohibits immorality and wrongdoing, and the remembrance of Allah is greater. Quran 29 45. This verse isn't just a collection of words, it's a guiding light in our lives. Prayer is the compass that keeps us on the right path.